months. I spent many years doing what I thought was good for myself. Because life and time are two great brothers. Both of them need each other to move together. So, I spent many years doing life my own way, not really following God. At the time, I thought it would make me happy to do everything I wanted to do. But the fact is, I was miserable. You see, if you were not following God's plan for your life, we are never going to feel peace or joy in insight. You may have some fun, but I have learned that having fun and having joy are two different things, and I would much rather have joy in my soul. Because fun is based on what you are doing in a moment. For example, you can go to the mall with your own credit card, spend a bunch of money, and enjoy doing it. But when we get back home, the fun is over, and you are facing a ball that would take you a long time. Please, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel like and share this video and click the notification bell to be the first to receive our original videos about life the theme of today's discussion is how can we follow god how can we follow god's leads and find what we really need in life how can we follow the lead of god and find what we're really looking for today you are going to find what you are really looking for today through the word of God. Let's go. The enemy will attempt to have a little fun. But after we do the very thing he tempted us to do, he will condemn us for doing it. So, when we are having fun by doing something that isn't part of God's plan, it is expensive. In one way or another. But the joy of the Lord is free. Real joy that fills your heart comes from God because it brings you peace, strengthens your soul, and at the same time brings good relationship between you and Jesus Christ. When we do what His will is or what He tells us to do, then we experience fulfillment and satisfaction that only comes from being close to God. Now, how can we find our pathway that full of joy? The book of Romans 8, 1 to 2 says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the Lord of the Spirit of life has sent you free in Christ Jesus for the Lord of sin and death. If we want to have and enjoy the freedom that Jesus did to give us, then we need to learn how to follow the Spirit of God. You can tell if you are following the flesh, which is human nature, without God, or if your spirit is of God. Instead of the spirit, if you have no peace, you are struggling, my dear sister and brothers. If you are thinking about doing something and you aren't peaceful about it, don't do it. For example, you may have a deep desire to get married. But if you are in a relationship that isn't right, you are trying to convince yourself you need to get married anyway because this could be your only chance. All you are doing is setting yourself up for a life of misery, which I encourage you never to do. Here is the things. If your mind is troubled, you have the uneasy feelings that says, I am not sure about this, then don't do it. Because very often, we try to talk ourselves into something we don't have. Into something we don't have any peace about in. In an example, the reason would go something like this, where I can't think of anything wrong with him. He loves Jesus. He loves me. 
He's got a good job. He is handsome. He is nice to me. But no matter how nice he is, if you don't have peace about getting married, you are better off being by yourself. This same principle is true. Whatever your situation may be, whether it is about according to a job offer or choosing a church or deciding where to live, establishing health boundaries in a relationship, and the list could go on. In every area of your life, always make it your goal to follow the wisdom and the peace of God. That is the only way you can enjoy this life. Number two, it's okay to make mistakes. Life can be so fast. It's easy to make mistakes when you are in hurry. Sometimes, we need to slow down so we can disarm between the desire of the flesh and the desire of the spirit. So, what should we do when you realize that you have made mistakes? Number one thing. First of all, you don't ever have to be ashamed to back out of doing something you thought God was leading you to do. Once you realize he is not, you can simply say, I have made a mistake and move on. We will make mistakes at times. And that is okay. But actually, it is one of the ways we learn how to hear God's voice in our hearts. Sometimes, you will need to stop or step out and try something that find out whether or not it is really God's leading. In summary, life in Christ is so amazing, my dear brother, my dear sister. Life in Christ is so amazing because it brings us real peace, joy, not guilt or condemnation. In Him, we are free from sin and can have abundant life. The book of John 10.10 10 says it. We have to follow His lead. When you follow God's lead, you will never be misleaded. When you follow God's lead, you will never regret it. When you follow God's lead, you will never find life difficult. When you follow God's lead, you will always be a winner. You will always rejoice in your heart. When you follow God's lead, you will always find fulfillment. Every human being is looking for fulfillment on earth. And remember, money cannot give you peace. Money can never give you happiness. Money can never give you all those things you think money can give you. But the joy of the Lord is all we need. Only Jesus can give us comfort. No matter how things may seem so difficult, things may be as dry as the wheat on the streets we are passing. But with God, all things are possible. But the Bible says that he is the only one that makes things easy. He only one that created a way in the wilderness and brings water where there is no water. So no matter how things may be difficult, no matter how you may find things today, follow Jesus. When you follow God, you will really get what you need. Following God is the only way to achieve everlasting success. Not following our minds. If only you want to get what you really need or we are really looking for in this world. The Bible says, We shall seek ye the kingdom of God first and every other thing shall be added unto us. As you can see, when you seek God, you will find God. When you seek God, you will find peace. When you seek God, you will find life. When you seek God, you will find money. When you seek God, you will find good relationship. When you seek God, you will find relationship. When you seek God, you will find breakthrough. When you seek God, you will find everything you ever need in life. Be it marriage, be it a child, be it breakthrough, be it education, name it, or job. Whatsoever you need, I encourage you, all my viewers, follow Jesus, follow God, and you will surely get whatever you are looking for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are still watching this video till this hour, 
please kindly subscribe to this channel like the video share it to all your friends so that we all can be able to benefit and know how we can how following god can help us to achieve what we really want to achieve in life because all of us have a desire we have a need we have what we want but today if you're able to follow god's lead you will get all those things you are really looking for the bible says without christ there will be crisis only in christ that's where there is peace love joy happiness 